Morning YouTubers. So it's the day after we had the disaster with a new dive ladder. Uh, we're back now in the yard and uh, just going to share my thoughts with you about the next plan, the next step forward for this dive ladder. And this is it. As you can see it ripped. Well, it's gone back in now but yeah, it's basically ripped all the fiberglass out of <coughs> under there. I can repair it so I can yeah, see it there. Look. It's all ripped out so the whole lot's ripped out. It just folded, it just folded straight over like that. Um, right so in hindsight obviously you know two bolts through fiberglass which is only like I don't know five mil I suppose maybe it wasn't going to hold it but so anyway, the plan is now is to utilise two of these post areas, put a big plate on, going all the way down here, all the way down, so a big plate, big 5 mil solid steel plate, cross both of those, bolted in in various places, on both sides, all the way around, so a really good anchor point, and then this would be bolted in the centre of it. And then, so your anchor point then is going to take all the strength from both of these two panels. If that all makes sense. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it on this side or we're going to do it on that side. I'm not sure yet. Here's the ladder. Now I've realised certain things. <clears throat> all this area here was above the water. And I use it as a bit of a handle but it was in the way. It actually proved more of a hindrance than a help because you had to try and sort of shimmy around it uh, which wasn't really very practical. So I'm cutting it off, cutting the whole thing off so there'll be nothing above the, the, uh, the receiver, nothing above it at all. Um, and then at the bottom here, this is a bit that's in the water, it doesn't need to be as long as it was, it was nice because um, it was easy just to swim up to it and step onto it um, but that's too that's too long as well so I'm going to cut at least one rung off uh, up to here I might even cut two off but I think to start with we're just going to cut one rung off so really that, that ladder is going to be so much smaller but still effective hopefully so the first job is to cut that off so we're going to we're going to trim the ladder down now, that's the first job. So we're cracking on with this, um, making the latest version of the dive ladder. And I've turned up here at my, uh, my friend's engineering factory down the road. And uh, he's going to bend up a nice plate for me uh, to make it a lot more substantial. Right, here it is finished. Here's the plate. Absolutely beautiful. That's perfect, that is, isn't it? Look at that. He's actually followed the contour as well of the boat shape because the shape isn't, uh, the boat isn't sort of square on. It's, it's literally, um, it's on a radius. So uh, managed to accommodate that as well. So yeah, brilliant. Fantastic, look at that. All we've got to do now is cut some holes in it uh, so we can get into the access. So I'm um, bolted up. The reason being is these um, hatches that I put in are actually quite big. Uh, but with this plate I want to cover the whole thing with, I want to be able to get some decent anchor points in the corners uh, and that will be compromised because of the big hole. So I've actually ordered some smaller hatches, some little four inch ones which won't take up so much room but you'll still be able to get your hand in to do the bolts up so you'll still get access but it won't take up so much room which means there'll be more area to put bolts through if that makes sense so whenever I'm doing um, metal work I like to use one of these which is a 
a paint marker. They're really handy, quite cheap on eBay as well. I don't know what make that is, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Right, this is the plate I had made. Uh, you saw me in the workshop the other day, yesterday I think it was. And here we have uh, the plate, which I've marked out with all the bolt holes uh, that I'm going to put in. And the inspection holes as well, one there and one there. Well, we're still in the workshop. I've drawn some nice pictures on there, haven't I? Diagrams. Uh, right, so I've drilled the 10mm holes for the bolts. Having a little bit of trouble with the bigger ones. If you remember these holes, the big ones, are just going to be that, it's going to be holes. And then behind there will be the, the little inspection hatches in the fiberglass. Now, I've got a big hole saw, this one here. But it's very big and he doesn't really want to go through 5mm steel. He's used to going through fiberglass but not 5mm steel. So I tried it on I tried using the pillar drill and I tried using the hand drill and it just didn't really want to know. So I've decided to use an angle grinder and cut squares out and then just try and make them as tidy as possible. So that's the plan. Well I took an angle grinder to it and cut the square window out and from this end you can see that these are going to be anchor points in there in the fiberglass and these are the two anchor points for the receiver which is going to sit on there. Here's the dive master, just checking out the kit. We're, uh, we're losing daylight now so I'm going to get into the workshop, put a coat of paint on this. So I've cut the, uh, I've cut the holes out which I needed to. They don't look very pretty but never mind. Here's the, uh, the bits we cut off. We've shortened the ladder somewhat, taken some off the bottom and a lot off the top. Now it's back into the workshop to paint it. It's another day. It's a wet day but it's another day. So I painted the uh, this plate last night. So I kind of, it's kind of dry now. It's uh, not fully dry but it's dry enough. So I've mounted the receiver on. What I'll do now is drill all the holes out. I've got a big bag of bolts and nuts and bolts there. Next job is to cut the holes. Next job is to cut the holes for these little chaps. These inspection hatches will be in there. I haven't actually measured to see whether they fit in those squares. Let's hope they do, eh? Oh, that's lucky. They do fit. There and there. Right, just got to cut the holes.
So we're using these as backing plates. They're already pre-made, I just brought them. Saves a lot of time making my own. This is coming together nicely. Got all our anchorage points in here. So six down each side. Plus uh, the receiver there is bolted back in. Um, obviously that's why I had to put these holes in so I could get to the undersides of these bolts. All I've got to do now is fit this on here. Nice little inspection hatch. The trouble is that hole saw I had is slightly too small so they don't quite fit. So they don't quite fit. So I've got this uh, die grinder which hopefully I'm going to uh, you have to take out the inside. like that. Right, that works anyway. That was a lot easier than I was expecting, that die grinder. Um, so I've just got to screw them in now, those little caps, and that uh, be job done. Tidy it all up, give it a sweep, and we're ready for the water again. Right, it's time to add some Sikaflex uh, bonding and sealant. Uh, some people would put it around here, but I think it's easier to actually put it around this. Right, here he is finished. Just got a couple of little touches. Two pads here, stick on there, the knees, there we go, two knee pads, so when you're climbing in you can just kneel on there, and that's it, all finished. The Mark III ladder, let's hope it's the, uh, the one that works. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope that's inspired you to make a better job than I did. Cheers. I uh, just thought I'd come back and tell you what a great idea I had. So we're always um, short of space on the deck and when we had this ladder in there it was like in the way. So this is a great idea to stow the ladder while we're uh, on our way to the dive site.